Alright guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. And, uh... Pat is already in the western forest and could not wait a single second. Never can, matey. So, uh, I apparently did not have that golem up. Oh, Haku's here. Oh man, Talamoana, bitch! What's Haku doing here, I wonder? Talamoana, warrior? You want me to go into your fucking BDSM dungeon? Uh, I would love to. Oh good, it's this one. Alright, Pat's gonna run through this. Even though my speed is basically the same as his, even though he's using Quicksilvers. I know, right? I have not bothered to use a Quicksilver yet. Hey, yeah, but yeah, but you're, you can't leap slab. If you have the ghost. I mean, I'm not leap slamming. I, could, I just go faster than you. Hey, you know what? This leaves you all the opportunities to attack while I run. I did a little bit. Alright. Yes, Haku, we got your fucking slave. Jesus. Found your gimp. He didn't even put it beside him like he normally does. Can't do this just yet. This guy fucking hurts me. Alright, good, he's dead. <laughs> I guess he's elemental reflect. <laughs> I know. And you do so much elemental I know. Alright, let's find this other lore shit here, actually, because, uh... Uh, just because it's interesting to show off. So, there's uh, a lot of questions that we may have, like... What happened to Illyra's camp? Because this is this is the western forest, guys. We killed Illyra here. So, I mean... Somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, we're on the spider side right now. Are we actually? Oh, so we can actually find the... We can actually look at the, the spider's den, actually. What happened to that? You know, that's a good question. What did happen to that? I actually, I actually don't know. That's a really good question. The sword is fucking overpowered as shit. I think Frostblades is just overpowered as shit. Oh, well, it's filled up now with, uh... I don't know what the hell those eggs. are. Eggs. Eggs, yep. Pulsating blue eggs. So, apparently, not allowed anymore. Probably Can you make an to... omelette out of spider eggs? I mean... Just I mean, it asking depends on... for a friend? It depends on the size of the spider, I suppose. I mean, those are some pretty big eggs. I mean, you could... I, I, I feel like you could totally do it. Those are bigger than ostrich eggs. Or emu eggs. By the way, those spiders also have the, the little things, the parasites on them. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of sad, actually. But, uh, Everything's I mean, getting infested. Alright, so here's the path to, uh, of XL now. Um, this is the path originally to take to Lyra's camp that we had from before. Uh, Acolyte of Evasion. Enraptured Arachnid. That is just... You know that you know the, uh, parasites are jumping off their backs now, right? I actually did not see that. I mean, I have a lot of splash damage, so... Yeah, it, it, it's... A, you're, you're killing them a little too fast. Got him. Oh, it's a Lyra's dearest zombies. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just in the middle of killing them rather than showing them. The, the, there's Borak lights and Lyra's not here anymore. She's, uh... Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she's well. She fucking yeah. She's pretty much fucking dead. So, dude, look inside of her pot. It's in there. That giant eyeball. That is totally a giant that is, eyeball. That is totally a giant eyeball. Is it your eyeball? And then, like corrupted pumpkins. What? It's the eye of Dominus. <gasps> it, it might actually be a Lyra's eye. I mean, it's a really big eye. Well, you know, we've seen weirder shit in Ray Glass, so. Just throwing that out there. I mean, I've seen pools of blood. Is that weird? Mike, we literally traveled inside of a thing that had a hundred thousand eyes that lined its esophagus. I mean, come Here, on. There was a beast, and that thing is killing me now. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, how the elemental reflect is gonna be your best friend. And so you guys can kind of see how like uh, reducing re reflected damage taken can be helpful, but uh, I'm not. I'm converting all my damage to elemental, so that won't help me. Alright, see ya, Pat. Oh shit. Even see ya. Pat actually has a thing. You kill some of these monkeys, and then you'll see like the, the things pop off their backs. So there's a side area here for Oak, and then there's um Well we'll go we'll go to Oak's place first, I guess. Or should we go to Oak's place first? Mm, let's see. Let's I, see. I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, because it doesn't really matter here, actually. We'll have, a, we'll have a look over here. Oh, look, the parasites. Ravenous parasites. 
Fetid Maz aren't affected by them. So are you saying Fetid Maz are as smart as goats? Uh, I thought they, I thought they were infested. There were some in the last area that were. Yeah, this, that's an yeah, those infested are Those are Aroas. So. Oh, Aroas scavengers. Oh. Oh, so some of them are infested, some of them aren't. But yeah. they all hate us equally, so... What difference does it make? Yeah, pretty much. I, oh, here's where Oak is. So he's got what are these things? Rizlatha Riz Riz brute. Oh, they've got they've got uh, parasites in their faces. Yeah. The fuck. And, uh, amongst other places. Oh my god, they're bags. Yeah. I ain't quite. It's uh, kind of creepy. All right, so they got parasited then. Yeah. It's uh, a little disgusting, actually. Rude. Alright, let's go see how the uh, see how the waterfall, the water entrance is doing. What well, maybe happened to that? Uh, you mean the tree that we killed? Yeah, the tree or whatever. I forgot what it was. Hey, two element reflect things right next to each other. No, they don't do any damage though, so it's all good. No, they do damage. Oh, they just have low health. There's actually a way forward here. What the fuck? The spawning ground. Oh yeah, this is where we killed the tree. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So it's a good thing we came here. Defeat the puppet mistress. Well, good thing it has a giant nest in the side here. Dude, that reminds me of the crocodile mouse from Donkey uh, Diddy Conquest too. Yeah. Which does the green kill you? Mm, it's very slow. Sorry, it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a meme between me and Ken. There's like this oh, okay. game of TF2 of a map that never ends, and there there was like this guy in the chat, the all chat in the TF2 game that basically asked, "Does the green kill you?" Because the map had like this fucking pit of lava, pit of acid, and then he dies like a couple seconds later. Wow. Well. We thought it. We just thought it was like the funniest thing. I like how I like I take I take a second sometimes to hit other things too. In fact, you want to DPS it? I am DPSing it. I can't do this just yet. Now I'll just stand in the fucking green goo, I don't give a fuck. And you get the life leech for it. Exactly. Alright, Topaz lost. Uh. Reaper Horde. The Asmeri believed that one day. This world of ours would collapse under the weight of Rislatha's offspring. A frightening thought, and thankfully, a mistaken one. Alright, we just got, um, Life Flask gained three charges for every three seconds you haven't used a Life Flask recently. That one is that's, really good, actually. That's not that bad. Okay, it's really good. What's what's not that bad? The Soul of Rislatha. Yeah, that one's actually probably one of my favorite ones. Most of these are like, eh. They're like minor buffs, but getting life flasks back is really good in terms of like boss fights and stuff, you know? Did you read the description for that area, by the way? What was the description for that area? Hit you and then mouse over the wetlands. A corpulent grub fail, uh, flails mindlessly infesting the oh, fucking hell. I, Putrescent what, muck. You just uh, wanted muck. me to read that, didn't you? Fuck I did. Stuff. Another damn god, you say? Yeah. That figures. A primitive deity from a primitive time, crawling up out of the dirt with a view to enslaving us all with its creeping bloody offspring. I think we could all do without gods like that. So here, take something for the road ahead. The way things are going, it'll be a tough one. Ah, oh, another skill point. Farewell. Oh. This, this is giving me a lot of skill points, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, not, not yeah, every time we kill point. a god. Every time we kill a god, we get a skill point. I mean, that's a pretty good reason to give somebody a skill point. <laughs> I mean, why are they holding out on us? That's the that's the real question. Why does he have like a book of fucking skill point things that he's just like or hoarding? a stack of them? Yeah, he's just like it's fucking like yeah, you got you killed another one here. I have tons of these, you know. <laughs> like shit. All right, I'm gonna continue getting life notes because uh, path of life wheel. All right, back to riverways then. It's not, it's not even a wheel anymore though. 
All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the Act Two Town Pad. I want to see how my good old friends uh, Aramir are doing. Uh, Silk, I want to see Silk's fucking butthole one more time. You know. You what? Uh, exactly. I'm can I? We I'm love disgusted. his thong. We love his thong. It's like okay, our that thing. much. Yes, I'll agree with. Uh, yeah. I think, Who else? I think if I ever go to a convention, I'm gonna cosplay as Silk. Uh, oh hell. Oh, uh, Helena, the fucking traitor is Blackguard. Oh, oh, Groost, man. You gotta talk to Groost. It says. You're gonna, you're gonna cosplay as fucking Silk. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna cosplay as a fat Silk. All right. Tell tell us all when you're going, so we can all not be there. Okay. Oh, okay, that sounds good to me. Collectively, just just as a warning. Just collectively. <laughs> uh, another thing over here. Here, go, go take another one. I can't do this just yet. Oh man. Aren't you stacking up the fucking shrines now? You fucking know it! Ye fucking Drugo. Throat is longer than I remember. I mean, apparently we don't remember anything. It's all unexplored. The animal back. Did he make duplicates of himself or something? Uh, yes, he did. One for each head, I think. Oh, and I'm lagging. Oh, and I just crashed. Oh, I crashed too. Good shit. Well, the instance is still up. No, it's not. What the fuck? Oh, it rolled. There, that was a rollback, I think. Wait. Uh, I don't no, even know. it was not. What the hell? I think we just crashed that instance. But why is the instance still... C come, come into this instance. That it's before we start exploring it. Oh, no. Everything's dead here? Or? And Tora's down there now. I'm so confused. Over here, exile. Hi, Tora. Motherfucker. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know what we've done. I, I don't either. It's a free game, no bitching. Who the fuck is Meliski? Oh, there's in Infested Beast. Oh, that's the thing that she wants us to kill. Actually, I didn't put any of my auras on. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, I'm just not getting my auras back. Oh my god, there's shit everywhere. They're actually causing me to bleed. Turn to master. No one said this job was going to be easy. Alright, there we go. Fucking bleed, man. Yeah, uh, this is actually the same place. It's just the map became unexplored again. It's that's that's really weird, dude. Well, I said it. It looked like the same instance. It wasn't a rollback. Yeah. I don't know. Because there's all our shit from where we were killing the guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Okay. Anyways. Oh, look, we made it to the end, guys. Okay. I'll see you next two. I'll see you next two, Town Pat. Uh, when I get there and stuff. So oh. 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 It's uh, blocked and you off. Keep setting off traps. Yeah, well, it's not my fault, you don't need to stand there. Oh, that's, that's it's blocked off now, we can't go there anymore, well. Let's have a look around here. See if there's something new. So, and exciting. we're not welcome in Act 2, apparently. That water looks really weird, by the way. You look weird. Alright. Thank you. Oh, Southern Forest, okay, well, I guess we'll just try, you know, the other entrance. Might as well. What the fucking Tora? <laughs> She's really fast, obviously. <laughs> Good day to you, Exile. Go kill me some shit. You know, it's actually far more appropriate that she wants us to kill infected bees, considering they are now literally all infected. Like, even more so than before. She's like, f she's basically like, fuck, I got my work cut out for me. Hey, no. Right down here, buddy. No, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, go... No, Taurus thing. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go to Act 2, but, uh... Oh, I, I still can't go to the default way that we usually go. And there's also more traps there. So, clearly something has happened in Act 2 Town that we don't know of yet, but, you know, shit has gotten real. Legit real. I don't want to really stand in that. Yeah, no, I, no, that's probably for the best that you don't do that. <laughs> Sanctified Life Flask. Don't really want that one. Oh, I could have it, it, but... Uh, hollowed? 
Uh, it, it heals faster. Whatever, fuck it, I don't care. I know you. The vermin might have the strength of corruption. Alright, well, let's, um... So the gates are closed? The gates are closed. We gotta, we gotta go down now. This is only for, oh, cool. For this guy. Well, that was fast. I mean, I, I, I almost killed him before he got into the ghost. You'd think he might rethink that, you know, like, oh, the body I'm going in almost dead. Fuck. I'll, I'll choose somebody else. I mean, how does he know? How would you not know? All I know is I'm some bitch sw swing my sword really, really fast. Dude, your rotator cuff would be so broken by this point. It's a, I, <laughs> no, there's no way. Don't worry. I I, I do I do a hundred push-ups every every morning. Uh, hey. The Brand King, his time has almost come. Then hope will be. I will be gone. Please, take the black flag. It once fluttered from the mast of the Black Crest, Waylon Roth's ship. Throw it into the flames of the beacon. It's your only chance of reaching me, of turning this tide. The king can't keep secrets like this from me any longer. It's just the way of things. Find me, please, before... Pat, why is your family involved in this? Because I paid way too much goddamn money to GGG for them not to put me in this game. So we are back in... somewhere. The Cavern of Anger. Well, this kind of effect. Just like a, a random water wall. Uh, yeah, that's a little fucking weird, actually. I'm gonna lie, we, we keep running into those. There, there must be something thematic going on with water. Yeah, something is definitely going down here. So back in the Cavern of Wrath, we're going now, like, the back way in. Which I don't remember this path before, but go figure. That's because, Pat, we... But we've we've done a lot, Pat. We, we've lost a battle to a god and some other shit like that. Uh, apparently, we got some head injuries along the way because obviously it's the only thing that would explain the, you know everything being different. It's just the way it works sometimes. Is it though? Uh, I mean, yes. Dude, you just passed up all these blue crabs. Well, I mean, I I was looking at what was up here because. I didn't feel like eating crabs today. Oh, I, I don't blame you. Seafood is nasty. <laughs> Actually, fuck you. Seafood is amazing. I don't want to see food. You want to eat food? Exactly. Then it goes here. I'm gonna chase it. Oh, it's gonna go into there. Oh no! No, you killed it. Oh fuck! Good job. I have a fucking system. call. That's why it fucked us. Whatever. It fucked us. We get killed Brian Crack. It is the best name, Jesus Christ. No. Uh, oh, 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 Brian oh, Crack. Oh, Stink Stink. Stink Stink is a good name. For, for an enemy. <laughs> eh, it's okay. A little too meany for me. Alright, so use the black flag at the beacon to summon, summon the black crest. Oh, the beacon? The beacon map? Oh man! I wonder if Mike's map. made that connection yet. No, I, I did ages ago. Oh, okay. Oh, that fucking hurts. Dude, he just may have made it us. I, I, honestly, quite quite honestly, I don't I can't tell when these fights are ending. I just I just keep fucking flailing my sword until something dies. Or I die. Yeah, that, that's generally probably the best strategy. So what's the op options here? Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like we have many options, actually. I'm just seeing if there's like a side passage anywhere. I like speed running through this now. Well, it's because you attack so fast. We wouldn't be speed running it otherwise. Oh, Fagan. You there? Let me bend your ear. Yeah, fucking come at me. That way, that way I can I can kill the fucking things around us while we kill you. The more we fight, the more <laughs> That's the way it goes. He, he, you know what? He's actually. I feel really bad for him actually. He never gets a break. Now that was a fight even Duressa would be proud of. 
Yeah, well, considering the shit we put Duresso through when we fought him, I think it might actually be a fight that uh, I mean, would be brought up. I mean, we, we fucking fought Katava. Like, isn't there shit that we could teach him? How are they the masters now? Yeah, I know, right? Why, why, why don't I get to stand around in the fucking random places in raid class and just wait for Vagan to walk through? Good day, Exile! Let me bend your rear for a moment, Exile. And then give him like a random quest, just like some, some fucking stupid shit, like pick up this Did fucking these fucking three shells off the fucking beach, and and I'll give you a hideout or something. Where, where would my hideout be? I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I you know what? It'll be your basement. How's that? <laughs> come to my come to one of my, but that's, come to my basement, exile. That's fucking Haku's my hideout. My den. Let's give you Haku's hideout. One of Haku's places. Hey, there's fucking pillars here. Nice. It looks so cool, actually. <gasps> 52. Actually, now I just want to go kill everything on the beach here. I just saw a bunch of crabs in the chest, and I'm like, damn. This, this crabs must be guarding something really good, and they, they weren't at all. Aww. Now there's like blue packs, so... Alright, let's go up the beacon then. That's actually a really tall little area. Dude, my inventory is so full, it's unreal. So is mine, actually, but... Uh... Stuff. Stuff. I mean, we could go back. I'm I'm sure there'll they'll be a spot for us to go back but to. I think I've seen this before. Okay, you do yours, I'll do mine. Actually, wait, where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm sure Pat has has great handle on that, and I wasn't carrying him at all. With my fucking yeah, you, you, sword. Yeah, you 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 might have you might have been carrying me a little bit. I have the utmost faith in Pat. But I, I miss your auras, Pat. I I, I miss giving you my auras. <laughs> Did you fucking came back here? Yes. You cocksucker. God, now you can take oh, making this take longer. This Alright, so now we've learned job. the problem with Pat's build is that he can't he is not self sufficient at all. One day. One day when I actually, you know, start getting damage nodes and stop going all over the skill tree. I don't even know what you're doing in your skill tree, but this is why you should never do pure support, guys. There's no reason for it. I think there's reasons for it. Well, at least you brought it to the first fucking checkpoint. That's the second checkpoint, actually, thank you. I'm pretty sure that's the first. That's the first. Oh, that's, those are not enemies. Yet. So what really is this, like, green goop we're, like, pushing over, to be honest? I don't... It's probably the fuel. It's crude oil. Well, why is it green? Uh, I don't know, because it's corrupted. Whatever, let's uh, take the ignition switch. Alright, the beacon. Uh, that's it, we, got to, we, got to, we have to put it in there. Oh shit, yep. Whalem came fucking swinging, man. Dude, how does a fucking ship have brakes like that, the fuck? It's a ghost ship, come on! Man, fuck you. So you're the shite that's gone and summoned me to the beacon, hey? Damn it all. Rules is rules and now I'm bound to you. The legendary Whalem Roth, captain of the Black Crest. Cursed to be the undead slave of some lowly outcast by the looks of it. You got an ass for a brain in a tick skull of yours? Of course I'll ferry you to the Brine King's bloody reef. I'd be wanting to discharge this accursed duty and get back to me afterlife. It's not right. Not natural being above water without a beating heart in me chest. So get yourself aboard and be quick about it. Let's go to Brian King's Reef. Don't think I'm going to be bawling and chaining after your sorry ass once our journey to the reef is done. Right. Well on with it then. Go find yourself a salty sovereign to the throne. Fool's errand, if you ask me. Old Briny will gut you like a fish, 
but at least with you dead in the water, I'll be free to get on with my own voyage. So off you go, matey. Alright, well, he doesn't instill a lot of confidence in our ability to God, do he's a salty sea dog. I need to go sell shit. Fine, let's go sell shit. I wanted to kind of end this act, though, before the end of the video, so, I mean, definitely do that. Oh, yeah. We're just so close. So very close. I'm heading back. Actually, is there anyone to talk to here? No, there isn't. Not even Sin. Not even Sin wants to talk to me. I right, don't blame him. We're in the middle of the ocean in Brian King's Reef now. I'm gonna start killing stuff. See how I do with that path. Pretty damn well. You don't gotta make me feel that bad, Mike. Jesus. <laughs> do you know what we need to do your fucking labyrinth, by the way? Eh, uh, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Because you're playing the damn Scion, you don't even get anything. I almost feel bad, but then again, you did it to yourself. Eh. I can't do this just yet. Oh, you go, you're just like way up in there. Yeah, I'm killing shit. Fucking Neo, dude. You're fucking Neo. Dude, it's the only way it explains my fast reaction speed. I must be in the Matrix. How much defense am I giving you now, by the way? I have 16... I have 18... 500. Okay. And without you, it's... Wow, you're doubling my DPS, the fuck? What did you do? <laughs> yeah! Look at my auras! I finally hit that peak where I have all the aura nodes now. Oh. Maybe I should put Weapon Elemental on my fucking... Yeah, too. Yeah, that might actually be beneficial. Oh, dude, Basalt Flask, yeah. Oh, that got nerfed, actually. Shit yes, now. it did. By a fairly decent amount, too. Yeah. It's actually a decent flask, but I don't know now. I need to kill stuff because Pat needs me. Yeah. I'm, I'm like Pat's Goku or something. Alright. I'm your Krillin. Alright, so let me see here. Yeah, I guess Weapon Elemental gives me slightly more than fucking melee physical does. Probably. I'm also running Purity of Elements now because I can. It's filling up that last little bit of my mana. So what do you do then? Just, just nothing? I just cast Skeletons. I should, pro I should probably be using Summon Raging Spirits, but I don't. I never got the gem. I mean... You can, you can talk to Mama. Oh, uh, yeah, but she'll give me a level 1 one, dude. Okay. I mean, that, that was the time to start leveling it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll solve that problem on my own time. Good old Lily Rob. Good old Mama. She's just as salty as I remember. <laughs> it's like everybody in my fucking family. <laughs> Alright, we need to go kill Brian King. I think bitch. we've got the shit. I've got Enfeeble, I've got Vulnerability. Oh, Vulnerability doesn't do shit for you now that you're all elemental, does it? I mean, I'm not all elemental, I still have 40%. Yeah, but you'd be better off with, like, me using Elemental Weakness, though, right? I mean, maybe. So I can lower the resist even more? Ah, uh, actually, you're, you're not wrong. Do you actually have Double Curse or no? Uh, I do not have Double Curse yet. That's my next That's my next goal. Okay. Dude, I've spent all my levels so far just getting Aura shit. And, I mean, and it's paid off. I'm literally doubling your deeps. You, how much of the Aura shit do you have from the tree? I have every bit of it except for Mortal Conviction. Oh, nice. But you weren't playing a game there, right? No, god no. I I, I don't want to do low life. I thought you said it wasn't bad. Well, I mean, it's not for me. I, I want to do a life-based build. You want to do a life-based build? I don't want to have you use, uh, like, Solaris, Lorica or something that would make me not die when I'm low life. Cause that shit's expensive, yo. People are still doing it, I guess. I mean, it's the it, hey chest down here, buddy. Chest. A uh, chest. Well, it's an armor strong box. That's that. There you go. 
Dude, I, I'm giving you purity of element. Your resist should be mostly fixed by now. They're almost maxed it for fire. Yeah, and I don't think we'll be seeing much fire here. What? The Brian King who has all this water shit? No. Oh, yeah, I know, right? He controls water, Pat. I mean, at best, he'll use, like, lightning attacks. Because storms, right? That makes sense. I mean, fire I'm, I'm planning on drinking him so to death. So strong. So dedicated. A man like you would never disappoint a lady in need. You're a gift, don't you see? A sumptuous feast for his majesty on his wedding day. Really, we are both so touched by your generosity. Oh, fuck, it's crap. You gotta hit its weak point for massive damage, Mike. I can't do this just yet. Dude, look at that, like, connection thing she's got on the back of her head neck. I mean... It's like an angel fish. Shit. Fuck, we keep going through the stages like really quickly. <laughs> so, it's, as far as we know, he does some kind of like water thing where it all comes in here and it fucking hurts. Ow, my face. Fuck. <laughs> she's, he's in calling range almost. Dude, she's shooting dolphins at me. Hey, if you zoom in the camera, you can go look through the water. Okay. That was, that was X6 boss, guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm making this too easy for you. I mean, uh, I'd probably make it too easy for myself. Alright, let's go talk to everyone. And thus the Lord of Salt and Scale sinks to feed the fishes that flit amongst the ruins of Sir Arthur. Come, and jest of his divine juices while they are all washed away. Alright, so we cannot be stunned if we've been stunned or blocked a stunning hit in the past two seconds. Pretty... pretty that is simple. literally like the best soul ever. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's nice. Alright, let's uh, talk to Pat's granddaddy or whatever. How did you? You're still breathing. Bloody barnacles on me eyes. <laughs> you, my new friend, are a legend of the high seas to behold. I tell you what, I've already done my bit getting you here, but if you're looking to sail on Tafrisia, me and the Black Crest would be honored to take ya. Oh, he doesn't seem to mind us too much now, does he? Well, I mean, we literally just killed the god of the sea. We basically killed Neptune. Hold on to your cockles, me hearty. The sea betwixt here and Frisia be the most ill-tempered there is. Here's hoping you've as much steel in your gizzard as you seem to in your heart. Cast off! What'll I do now? This here broken bridge speaks to me some. A fair place to rest me old bones for a bit. And tell you what, with all this sunlight and fresh air, I can feel the calling forth of the poetic muse beneath me trousers. Been a long time since I felt this here compass point in any direction. Now, speaking of navigations and the like, a long time ago, I had me a nice collection of riches stuffed away in a lockbox. And being the stupid ass that I am, I buried the thing one eve when I was high in my cups. Can't for the death of me remember where I... Except... I knew it was near this broken bridge. The box has a silver locket in it. It holds the portrait of my late wife, Meredith. It's the last thing I have in this world to remember her by. If you happen across my lockbox in your travels, I'd be appreciating of its return. Always keep your eyes on the horizon. Judging by that rather curious ship and its aberrant captain, I imagine you had rather an interesting voyage here. Now, Inquisitor Maligaro. We must have a soul. He has most certainly returned to his old haunt, yet his manifestations are like wisps on the wind. They are one moment, gone the next. 
while I am familiar with the phantasmal trails and tributaries that filigree this reality, Melagaro's exact whereabouts salutes me. You should speak with these desperates who cling to this broken bridge, that young Templar scholar in particular. Their mundane knowledge must provide where my enlightened sapiens cannot. Ah, yes. You do seem to have a penchant for presenting yourself when times are at their most uh, perplexing. It would seem that our Almighty has forsaken us. False deities from ages past now rise and ravage while our blessed innocence remains as silent as the stones at my feet. So much for Templar propaganda, eh? Well, I suppose if we are to fend for ourselves, then I should answer your troubling arrival with our own most pressing tribulation. The relic that washed ashore and started all the chaos. It was covered in ancient vowel inscriptions. The symbols were much weathered, making them challenging to translate. Yet I did my best. The inscriptions spoke of the god Ralakesh. If this object somehow housed the spirit of that many-faced monstrosity, then I fear we are all in danger. Ralakesh was renowned for his penchant for subjugation and control. Please, I urge you to destroy this god before his strength and dominance grow insurmountable. Nip this divine threat in the bud, as it were. Our poor friend, Grust, has likely become Ralikesh's avatar in this world. At least his recent behavior would indicate as much. If you could see to Grust's passing, Ralikesh will be forced to retreat into the relic. Destroy the relic, and perhaps you will also destroy the god. Fare you well. You arrive. The great spirit spoke in my dreams, told me that darkness would again drown our lands, and you, exile, would walk before the flood. But what is this? You are not alone. A shade, a memory, older even than... No, older than spirit? Fear grips my throat, I shake, but the spirit drapes a warming cloak upon my shoulders. This ancient ghost that follows you, it has the trust of the spirit, and if the spirit trusts, then I trust. Turn your back for the barest moment and Rayclast bites you in the proverbial. I imagine that's how you're feeling upon visiting us this time. It's how I feel about now. I'm afraid that the Inquisitor's spirit has indeed returned to the Chamber of Sins. Yet while you won't encounter Melagaro by wandering his halls, I do perhaps know how you can find him. Whilst investigating the Fell Shrine, I learned of the existence of a map forged by Melagaro from his own viscera. This map allowed him to transfer his spirit into another form of existence, an existential safe house to which he could retreat should death ever attempt to take him. Understanding the map's purpose, Vol tried to destroy it to no avail, so he locked it away deep within the ruins of Frisia Cathedral. Find that map and place it upon the reverie device in Melagaro's old laboratory. And when you step over that threshold, expect the very worst. Till next time, shall we keep, savior? Alright, well, I guess that's uh, all. Yep, yeah, nobody wants to talk to me anymore, so that's all the time we go for today. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.